I bought another race bike, and this time you might be able to come out and ride it. I'm very excited about this one, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so what have I done this time? What is old Yamster up to? Well, I just got back from Houston. I picked up this fine little prepped CMRA spec Ninja 400. Now, many of you might know that back in 2020, I did a little bit of club racing and I got good. It was so much fun. I sprint raced my Daytona 675R and I also got the chance to sit in the saddle of an Endurance Ninja 400. That was so much fun. And it was always stuck in my mind like, oh my gosh, it was so much fun to race a little bike for an hour at a time on track. I'm kind of masochistic like that. So time went on, I kind of transitioned to a weekend track day bro. Since I did some club racing and done a lot of track days, I'd show up in the advanced level group and pretty much just smite everybody. It was a lot of fun. But this year, I was kind of like, I'm starting to get a little bored at just doing track days again. And the thought just wouldn't leave my mind of doing another Ninja 400 endurance bike. And I went and I bought one. So this is a 2019 or 2020, 2018. Who cares? It's a race bike. Who cares about the year? The important thing is some old timer owned this bike. Sorry for the old timer if you do watch this. I, I'm sorry, but you yourself called yourself a little bit of an old timer. This belonged to a gentleman named Jerry, who is a 60 year old retiree. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, an absolute barn find, right? This is amazing. I'm already liking where this is going. Keep feeding it to me, baby. And you're right. This is a totally prepped bike that is ready to go for racing. Uh, that I picked up for 7,500 bucks. And for those of you who are not in the know of the racing world, Jerry bought this motorcycle basically brand new, 136 miles on the clock, and then he went through and did all this stuff to it. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm gonna have to dig into this motorcycle really deep and figure out all the ins and outs of it and what exactly has been done to it, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's got a direct line from the brake master cylinder to the brakes themselves, Plastic's already ready to go. This bike has passed tech inspection at one of CMRA events I'm seeing here at Houston Motorsport Ranch on April 1st in 2022. So if it passed tech inspection as is, that means it's just ready to go racing. That's really nice. A couple other features on it, quick shifter, GP shift, no quick turn throttle, no RCS 15, but I might fix that in the future. Plastics obviously, a China Povic exhaust, as he so told me, which I thought was very funny to call this a China Povic exhaust. And so this thing is basically gonna serve as our team endurance Ninja 400 bike. I've got two other guys that wanna come on board and pilot this machine with me. And I've got one guy who may or may not be able to. And if not, I'm just gonna get my intern Nico to sit atop this thing and be the fourth man because it's so much fun to race little bikes. Now, does that mean I'm not gonna be racing my Daytona? No, I'm still gonna be racing my Daytona 675R. I wanna do some sprint bike racing on the big bike because it's always a ton of fun. But my primary focus is gonna be this little bike because I often had so much more fun doing the little bike. Now, I mentioned at the top of the video that you guys might get the chance to ride this thing. So my idea with this motorcycle is it's going to be my track mule. I want this bike to be, if anyone wants to do a track day, they can just jump aboard this thing, hop on, have a great time. So I don't really quite know yet what I wanna do with that, and I'd love for you guys to chime in. Join over at yamanoob.co, support what we're doing here, and join on the Discord, and I'm gonna let the Discord boys choose the livery for this bike. I might even fly a Discord boy out here and get them to do their first track day. I want this bike to be the entryway, the gateway for people to enjoy track day motorcycling because I really think that although it is a niche of a niche, it is so much fun to get motorcycles out on track where they belong, especially sport bikes. Not all motorcycles belong on track. We measured that and tested that with the Roll Enfield Interceptor 650 but your average sport bikes, Ninja 400s, R6s, even your R1s and those sort of things, you're definitely gonna wanna take them on track. So if you guys have any ideas for the Ninja 400 Endurance build, let me know in the comments. Join over at yamanoob.co. I might fly one of you out there. If you have any fun ideas of what we could do with this machine, let me know as well. Think of this bike as the track mule that it is meant to be. It's meant to be used for people to enjoy, for people to hop on for their first time, and to be raced in the endurance class, ultra lightweight in CMRA. Now, I've talked a lot about this machine. Why don't we grab the camera, take a closer look at it, and then we'll wrap up this video. All right guys, so grabbing the camera off the tripod, I did want to share that not only did I pick up this beautiful race prep Ninja 400, but 
it came with a whole bunch of goodies. Because as I mentioned, I picked it up off an old guy who spent a bunch of money on it and built it, which is fantastic. So we have a bunch of extra sprockets we can use, a key ignition delete, some extra lines, all the factory plastics wrapped up in the box that the armor bodies came with. This is a really good time. Uh, very, very excited. An extra rotor as well too. Might install that, so pretty good stuff. But let's look over the bike. There are a couple things I did want to talk about it. Um, the first being, the first thing I was looking at with this machine actually, was uh, trying to see what shock was on it. Now, when I first went to go get it, I thought this might be the stock shock, but this right here is actually a Gixxer 750 shock that is on this motorcycle. Now, the previous rider weighed about 225 pounds. I weigh about 165 pounds. So definitely gonna need to get a different shock on this machine. It's not gonna work for my weight, no matter how much preload I throw at it. Already got some engine protection on it too. It's currently on a pretty spicy sprocket setup because the previous owner was actually taking it out to cart tracks, which is pretty awesome. As I mentioned, quick shifter, rear set, GP setup already on this thing, and it's clean as a whistle, isn't it? Never been down, by the way. Slick's already on it, and the best thing about little bikes is the SC2s that are on this thing right now. This could honestly last several months of racing. The little bikes barely eat up tires, which is one of my favorite things about racing little bikes. Moving over here, this might be a Ninja 400 specific mod, but the previous owner was telling me he did something to the clutch to make sure it uh, wouldn't slip out of gear. Don't really know what that was all about. Maybe a little bit of a uh, Ninja 400 lore that I'm not familiar with. Plastic's already on this thing. Tank grip's already set on it too. Uh, he was very kind and left the tire PSI that I need to put on this tire, which is great too. The front over here has these uh, forks on it right here. Uh, this is actually an adjustable set of forks on this motorcycle. I did not get the name of the brand, but again, set for a 225 pound rider, I'm probably gonna want some different springs in here for my weight. Our endurance boys that are gonna be riding this thing um, are nowhere near 225 pounds as far as I remember. You'll see this right here. He mentioned that you actually need to put this, uh, the screws back in it to secure this dash back on it. But honestly, I think it gives a little bit of character. Don't worry about the RPMs. Just frickin' send it, my dude. Over the front here, we also have a slick setup at the front. Very nice. Uh, we've actually done a setup before on our Ninja 400 that I ran back in 2020, where it ran a DOT front and a slick out back. That was a pretty good setup. All safety wired as well, which is a huge pain in the dingus to do direct lines to the front brakes here. This is just a really, really well set up motorcycle, man. Really clean, um, never been down, just really nicely set up. Again, the only two things I might wanna do is install a quick turn throttle and an RCS 15 master, but honestly, with the direct lines, this feels pretty good. It's a nice firm feeling at the lever here. I might install that keyless uh, ignition setup because I have that on my Daytona and it is really fun. Sometimes you forget your keys at home and then you have a really, really bad track day. But overall, this is the type of build that I would do, man. Um, and I finally listened to myself, guys. I finally listened to my own advice that I would not buy a new bike and turn it into a race bike. I've done that before, and it was a giant pain in the butt. Let somebody else do all the work, and then you get to reap the rewards, and you get to go have fun turn key. So I'm really, really excited about this motorcycle. And in fact, I'm gonna post it up with my Daytona so you guys get the full flex. So guys, I'm now the proud owner of two relatively working race bikes. The Daytona is a little suspect. That thing definitely needs some maintenance. All this thing needs is some new number plates. Actually, I said two race bikes. It's actually two and a half because I have the parts Tona over there that serves as this thing's, uh, what's that thing with the vampire with the portrait in the attic and you can't look at it. That's kind of that situation with that Daytona over there. This bike can't look at that one lest it be turned into the vision of that one over there. This is getting a little crazy. Anyways, super excited about this, guys. I've been wanting to do something like this for a long, long time. If you want to get in on the action, join over at Yamity.co, join our Discord. I'm going to be posting a ton about this little race bike and, uh, Expect to see some awesome race content uh, coming in 2023. I believe there's actually a race this weekend, but there is no way I can make that work on such a short timetable. However, catch us in 2023. We're gonna be doing a bunch of cool stuff with racing with this motorcycle, but we're definitely gonna get it out on track to do the initial shakedown test with it and make sure we got this thing all sorted. Expect to see a lot of content with the Endurance Ninja 400 and let me know what you guys think. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Keep, Keep watching, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah.